I have to look at you and be like, man, if why, you want do, to. why do you ask me that? <laughs> <laughs> my earliest musical memory would be listening to my father play music. He was a DJ. We had tons of records in the house. The good thing about it, I was able to hear a lot of music that they weren't playing on the radio, so I always sort of gravitated to the more B-side sounds. He played more in the uh, south side of Chicago. Uh, he used to play a lot of jazz, funk, soul, James Brown, B.B. King. We're talking like about the 70s and stuff, so what the DJs did then, they would play a song and then they would um, talk in between the songs to some of the you know, the crowd, give them hype, like, say, yo, you're looking good out there, you got a nice outfit on. When I heard the music in the 80s, it was finally something that resonated with me, because the music before that was essentially my father's music, you know, my parents' music. My mother would say, oh, turn down that boom, boom, boom music. I'm like, mm. The blessing of being from Chicago and being here in Chicago at the time is that we heard a wide spectrum of music. I mean, we heard a lot of the new wave stuff was popping off. And then of course we had the house music. I definitely remember seeing Farley because at that time he was probably one of the biggest DJs on the radio. Steve Silk Hurley, he would play like some warehouse parties. We used to have a lot of um, backyard barbecue parties and Blasting, we had boom boxes back then. Blasting a boom box, you know, and we would record the mixes from GCI and BMX, and so sometimes we would just play the play our cassettes, or we would listen to the music live over the radio, and then also basement parties. First gig I, I did was performing the percolator because the percolator becomes such a big time, mm -hmm. big song. That was a cashmere thing, thing, by the way. The first gig that I played here in Chicago, you know, it's Green Velvet, it's Crowbar, and we used to have some really fun times there. I started casual, and uh -huh. and I used that for the inspiration or conception of really. First song was uh, Preacher Man. There's this DJ, Spencer Kinsey, he also is known the is known as Gemini. He um, was playing the Preacher Man instrumental. We, because when I first did it, it was just an instrumental track and he was playing it. And, and the vocal I got off the radio, I was just uh, recording the radio. Then I went out to the party and I came back and listened to the cassette. And I was like, this is wow. This, he's, the preacher's talking about house. Because the rave started to pick up in Chicago in the early 90s, you had a lot of uh, warehouse parties, and that song did very well in that setting. After hanging out with the kids, I said, you know what, I know that there's still an audience for this music, so I wanted to keep it alive, and so that's really why I did Relief, because I wanted to have that, just continue that Chicago tracky tradition of the music. I always think of you in the, the Moonshine Club. Yeah. That's where we used to just kick it. That's the original Mammy. That's yeah, like, it is the original Mammy. Really? Yeah. yeah. Get out of here. That's where this thing came out from. No yeah. way. Seriously. Are you, whatever. What a segue. Are you serious? Yeah, serious. That is, that is the original Mammy. Wow. And so we used to just party, eat pizza, listen, <laughs> listen to Melvin tracks, talk all night about yeah. Jack. So this is where Mambi is? Yeah, yeah. This is my hood. You're in my, you're in my <laughs> stick of the woods. Tonight this I'm is crazy. Club back. Where all the bad little bad kitties, go. kitties go. Try to leave their body by various means and methods. Anything necessary. Some things that you quite won't be accustomed to. So I've equipped each and every one of you with your own individual camera so that you can take pictures of these bad little kitties doing these bad little things. No, I just think it's awesome that um, the party is here on the south side, which is where, you know, I used to party all the time and which is where a lot of the house music came from. I'm just excited that all the people who are on the stage are really up for 
playing a special set here in Chicago, you know, the birthplace of house music and all that. So it's, it's something that's not only special to me, but all the people on the lineup. MK, Lee Foss, Justin Martin, Lapman, my girl DJ Heather, DJ Steve, and um, Dajay is gonna be showing up and doing some things too. It was just really about having fun, spreading the love, and having a good time. And so I'm just happy to see that there are a lot more people who get it and a lot more people who are willing to come out and have fun. Yo, I'm Green Velvet in the Windy City celebrating 25 years of Relief Records at Man Beyond the Beach. 2017, baby. Baby. <laughs> but this is no laughing matter. What's up, Green Never Velvet? Ready, prepare to flash. Ah! Ah! <laughs> It's me, I'm here with my dirty bird. Happy 25th anniversary, Relief Chicago. Yo, what's up, this is MK. I wanna say congrats to my boys at Relief Records. The big 2-5, that's amazing. Keep it up, guys. Hi, everyone, this is Deadlift. I would like to say happy birthday, Relief Records. You've been uh, providing us quality music for 25 years now. So I hope you stay in the market for another 25 years. Thank you and uh, happy birthday. What's up, y'all? It's Gene Ferris here. Giving a shout out to my family, man. Relief Records. Wow. 25 years. Um, I'm one of the few people that is blessed to say that I've been with you guys since 1994. Yo, man, happy anniversary to the Relief team, the Relief squad. So glad to be a part of the squad, you already know. Hi, we're Prop and Fitch, and we wanted to give a big shout out to Relief. 25 years in the business, that's pretty impressive in today's climate. Definitely, it's a real honor for us to be part of the Relief family. Uh, we love the parties, we love pushing the boundaries musically and just making the music we're passionate about. So here's to another 25 years. Yes, thank you. Hi, this is Dolly, just wishing Relief Records a happy 25th birthday. 25 years, that's a lot of years. I'm still discovering Relief Records every day that I didn't know about. Such a great achievement for an underground label to go 25 years like that. Big up to Curtis, Bruce, Cynthia, all the family. I'm super proud to be part of this. Let's do another 25 years, let's do this. Hello, Relief family, this is Riverstar. I uh, just wanted to tell you happy 25th anniversary. Congrats to Curtis. It's been an amazing 25 years full of banging releases and I, I'm pretty sure that it's gonna be like that for at least 25 years more. Ciao. What up, Will Clark here. Quick message to say happy birthday to the lovely Relief. Love you all. Thank you for amazing music and roll on another 25 years. Hey, what's up, people? I just want to say congratulations to the family at Relief Records. 25 years, that's amazing. Honestly, that's in this industry, that's quite an achievement. I'm really happy to be a part of this family and I'm looking forward to being with you guys soon. Congrats, Curtis. Happy birthday to Relief Records. I can't do it with this one, no. How are we doing? Steve Girard here from Chicago, Illinois, one half of Cervante. Just want to wish Relief Records a happy 25th anniversary. And you can catch us on the beach for Mambi by React Presents uh, in the Mix Mag tent uh, on the Sunday, June 25th. Uh, it's going to be myself, DJ Heather, Daje, Latman, Lee Foss, Mark Kinchin, and Big Boss Man Green Velvet. Hope to see you there.